Hey everyone, Scott Everett here, the Vice President of Healthcare Solutions with Practical Data Solutions. Welcome to Metric of the Week. This week's Metric of the Week is the Adjusted Net Denial Rate. Now, a lot of organizations will go through and measure their overall denial rate, which is simply denied charges uh, divided by the total charges and uh, be able to calculate what percentage is being denied in a, in a given month. One of the ways that we want to look at with this adjusted net denial rate is what is the impact of denial recoveries? How well are we doing in our appeal process, our appeal efficiencies, and how much money are we getting back? What this is going to show is the true financial impact or how much money we truly are losing from the impact of denials. So the way you would calculate this is to take your overall denied charges add back in the recovery amounts or the payments that come in after the denial and divide that by your total denied charges. Once you get this denial rate, then that helps you to understand what is truly being written off because of denials and, and uncollected versus just an overall denial rate where you may actually have a fairly significant recovery rate coming in. Data can be challenging. If you have any struggles in your organization with data or analytics, PDS specializes in helping organizations be successful in these areas. Please feel free to reach out to us. I'm Scott Everett, and thank you for joining us today.